What is the most astounding fact you can share with us about the universe? The most astounding fact is the knowledge that the atoms that comprise life on Earth, the atoms that make up the human body, are traceable to the crucibles that cooked light elements into heavy elements in their core under extreme temperatures and pressures. These stars, the high mass ones among them, went unstable in their later years. They collapsed and then exploded, scattering their enriched guts across the galaxy. Guts made of carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, and all the fundamental ingredients of life itself. These ingredients become part of gas clouds that condense, collapse, form the next generation of solar systems, stars with orbiting planets. And those planets now have the ingredients for life itself. When you look at the ingredients of the universe, the number one ingredient is hydrogen. Next is helium, oxygen, carbon, nitrogen. Those are the top ingredients in the universe. And you look at Earth, because we like thinking of ourselves as special, we say, oh, we're special. But what are we made of? Well, what's the number one sort of molecule in the body? It's, it's water. It's water. Well, what's water made of? H2O, hydrogen and oxygen. Hmm. In fact, if you rank the elements in the human body, Number one in the human body is hydrogen. Matches the universe. Number two is oxygen. Matches the universe. Number three, carbon. Matches the universe. Number four, nitrogen. Matches the universe. So, we learned in the last 50 years that, of course, not only do we exist in this universe, it is the universe itself that exists within us. But there are people who are upset by that fact, saying, well, that, well, that means we're not special? Well, I think it, it's special in another kind of way. Because when you look up at the night sky, it's no longer we're here and that's there. It's that we are part of that. Now, are we alone in the universe? We're made of the most common ingredients there are. Isn't that rare? So, if we ask ourselves, are we alone in the universe? It would be inexcusably egocentric to suggest that we are alone in the cosmos. The universe, too vast. There are more stars in the universe than grains of sand in all the beaches of the world. And how about life on Earth? How, is it hard to form? Just because we don't know how to do it in the lab doesn't mean nature had problems. So it may be, given that information, that given the right ingredients, which are everywhere, life may be inevitable. So that when I look up at the night sky, and I know that yes, we are part of this universe, we are in this universe, but perhaps more important than both of those facts, is that the universe is in us. Many people feel small because they're small and the universe is big, but I feel big because my atoms came from those stars. <laughs>